Hello, uh, my name is John Carrigan, and today I'm playing a Starfleet Admiral, and tomorrow I'm playing a Klingon. One thing, I've known Walter Koenig for nearly 30 years now, but it's not nepotism, they chose me for a reason. Um, I worked with Sky on Star Trek Gods and Men seven years ago, and I played a mouthy Klingon then with loads of dialogue who gets killed by Chekhov. So they thought of me when they put Renegade together, I said, yes, I'll be there. Do you prefer working in prosthetic makeup or out of it? Um, any job's a good job, but vanity-wise, I'd rather play a part as me, if that's possible. All my life I've been a Star Trek fan, and I got to know Gene Rodenberry. And it was actually Gene that inspired me personally to become an actor. In, in Gene's office one day, I went to visit the set, which was an impossible dream, and he gave me the speech that inspired me. And after that, nothing was the same. So I went back and trained as an actor. I'm also a martial arts instructor, so I was a stuntman for 12 years. And here I am. Um, I met Gene when they were filming um, the beginning of The Next Gen and uh, he gave me a walk-on part on Next Generation in the third episode and then as his guest I was on the set for every Star Trek movie up until Gene passed away so the privilege and you know it's been amazing and I got to know all the Star Trek cast as, as friends well not all of them but most of them. How would you compare uh, this production, which is, you know, funded by the fans, uh, produced a lot of the people on the cast and crew are fans. We're here to just help out. How would you compare the two? Like, what are the differences? What are the similarities? Well, the difference is, really, um, you can tell that they go above and beyond for the dedication. Everyone here seems to love Star Trek, and they're great human beings. I'm not saying on the film set they're not great human beings, but usually, you know, it's very much like a job. You come together, you do the job. Hello, how are you? You know, bye. But here, it's a sense of family and a sense of continuity. And I think each one of us realizes we're making a piece of Star Trek history because we love Star Trek and we want to do the best we can. You know, so I think the difference is the enthusiasm for the project and the love of the project. And do you have a scene with Walter? Are you going to be performing with Walter? Unfortunately, no. Um, there's, there's a thing from Gods and Men, though. When we did this scene, I had this dialogue. You know, quite nervous because I was with some of the original series actors and Tim Russ who was also playing Tuvok. I thought, I've got to get this scene right. Did loads of dialogue. The end of the scene, he's supposed to shoot me, and because he's known me for so many years, he put the gun between my legs and fired, just to make me go, oh, you, oh. so I have to do the whole scene again. So um, I wish I had a scene with Walter, but he would probably do the same thing to me this time. But I haven't got any scenes with him, unfortunately. This being your second time working with Tim Russ as a director, how do you find him as a director? First of all, um, Tim's pace is quite surprising. Uh, first time he ever met me, uh, he walked up to me and said, buddy, is your together? And I said, yes, Tim, Mike, together. He said, okay, I trust you. And I thought, Phew, okay, I better get this right. So um, then we've got a relationship, uh, I've got to him, I know his way of directing. So I find that Tim is very thorough. He knows exactly what he wants, but he's open to suggestion. But you know, I think um, you give him what he wants and he's, he's very accepting, but otherwise he'll push you and push you till he gets what he wants, which is good. Okay, well, thank you for watching this. This is an amazing project to work on. I'm so grateful. And without the fans out there, there will be no us. So please watch Renegades when it comes out, and may you always boldly go.